What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Get Better Fast brought to you by the Big Comfort 3 Advanced Shaver. Today we're going to be checking out some gameplay commentated by Halo 3 Pro Player Heinz from Triggers Down. Let's check it out. This nader throw at the beginning just tries to like prevent them from getting right up the gold lift so I can get up there first. And I think it did help me there because I did get up first. And then I still watch gold because everyone else has everything else covered. And I hear gold lift just kill neighbor. And then we have total top control right now. When we're all up top, it really doesn't matter who goes for the hill. It's just whoever's closest. But if it's anyone, it's probably going to be me. If we have everything on top control, like sword, both purples and gold, we want the guy from sword to drop down the hill. And maybe everyone rotate the guy from gold, go to close. The guy from close, go to sword. The guy in open, stay open. And just watch everything up top. And I'll go for hill probably. Hill control. Um, I spawned up top because my teammates probably at sword waiting for me to spawn. Cause like they might want to push out, but they know if they wait a little bit, I'll spawn there and be able to help push up with them and double team someone. I'm being shot at from close tree, and I'm standing right here because like the, usually with that angle he's on from close tree, the pillar will block it. And if I keep walking in a straight line from that angle, I should be able to get into the lobby alive. All right, the two of us are dead right now. We just want to stay up top, maybe get a good spawn, but SK still didn't spawn near sword. Now, going to sword is really important. You want to spawn your teammates there. Right here, I'm trying to spawn my teammates at sword, but it was taking fire, so it forced them to spawn elsewhere. So when that didn't happen, I just decided to go for the hill guy, and I got him weak, and they eventually killed him. Whether you're playing on Xbox Live or LAN, staying on your desk cam is extremely important because sometimes your body will be looking down a hallway and it's very easy to see for 10 seconds if a guy's going to come down that hallway. And now your team doesn't need a guy there to watch that hall and you'll be able to call him out for your teammates and then they can be watching other stuff at the same time. When you miss your melee, you don't want to panic because it'll just screw you up. So just keep calm and you'll be able to kill, get a kill like that. It's kind of a weird position here, but I'm one shot, so just trying to stay alive. Uh, the reason me and SK attack together here is because any fight where you have a number up on the other team is a fight that's gonna, you're going to win. So instead of having one guy go from one way and another guy from go from another way, and maybe one guy might be blocked off, we just have two guys going to open and double team Ghost. I know I have help, so I'm just charging them dead on. I know we'll be able to finish him. See, so helped out SK there. None of us died. Alright, I see Jacob going into close and Pistola going to gold, so I kind of just take a quick glance at open ramp, see where they are. I see neighbor by the mid, so I'm trying to look, maybe going lifting up open, so I nade and then uh, watch gold still. See main ramp, I get sniped and then I get killed because I, I didn't watch open ramp. Or right, sometimes we have the guy at top gold looking down bottom gold like through the glass and you can see on back gold and open ramp so we'll know but maybe pistol wasn't doing it there sometimes it's better off to die in a spot like that because you don't want to keep spawning your teammates there kind of like how pistol died I finished off lunchbox here for Jacob and someone called out neighbor and sword so I got a nice double on him and I kind of got a little overconfident here and I put shots on ghost which is all right but someone probably called me out low shield so ghost did the right thing in challenging me and he killed me it's important after you get a multi-kill to uh, it's very important to stay alive like especially when you're in a position like lobby or sword which is a power position on the map you just want to stay alive you don't need to like go for the triple or get that extra kill two is enough I remember this situation, uh, instead of getting a few seconds and it dropping right down the hill, uh, we should just collapse on close purple because there's two guys there. SK killed neighbor and I finished ghost because you want to start off with top control because then you can work your way down from there. Which is what I do and I get OS here. The overshield on construct spawns every two minutes so we knew it was going to be up around this time. And when you get overshield on construct you probably want to roam around instead of sitting in the hill. Because when you roam around with overshield you can just pick people off and get them low shields for your teammates to finish. Alright, when you have height advantage on someone, it's probably just best to stay up top. Like, you don't need to drop down and get even with them because height advantage is so important in Halo 3. 
And when you do have a shot on them, you should challenge them. But if you don't, just stay alive up top. It's much better to stay alive than to die. Obviously. I see two go of gold here. And uh, I just throw one nade. I don't need to challenge them because there's two of them. I throw one nade open street to prevent them from getting past us. And I know neighbor's still alive, so I nade close tree here. And he jumps out at the perfect time. And me and can finish them both off. All right. Well, it looks like Heinz is the king of construct. Hopefully you guys were able to learn something from his commentary, and that's going to do it for today's episode, but make sure to check out more Get Better Fast content on LMGPro.com and get your game on with the Bic Comfort 3 Advanced Shaver.